Oh shit, here we go. Another DIY episode. Welcome back to another episode of renovating an auction property in just six months. And would you believe we're already seven weeks into our home conversion? That's 27% of our time limit gone, as well as 20% of our budget already having slipped away. Boy, have we got a lot of work to do. So you've already seen us buy the property. You've seen us uncover some major cracks, which were stuffed with some historical treasures. You've seen us install a whole RSJ. Actually, it was two of them. And so much more. But this week, you're gonna see little old us doing even more skilled labor in the efforts to save a good lump of our budget. I think we've just started to realize how much work we might have got ourselves into. So many of you may remember that in episode one, we took down this wall. In episode two, we took down this wall. And in episode three, we'll be taking down the majority of this wall. But with having taken down all these walls, we are hoping for a really open plan kitchen diner that's gonna look something like this. And with all this skilled labor we've been doing recently, surely putting in some French doors can't be that hard. <laughs> you were laughing at me, you dick. <laughs> Now you're probably wondering why walls like this take so long to demolish. And that's because we've recently found out from our mate Alfie that you can't just take a sledgehammer to everything. You've actually got to separate the bricks down the mortar line using something called an SDS drill. Now this is a lot of work and demolition like this is definitely not for the faint hearted. I'm terrified actually. Five, three. Moved. Note how I got myself well clear of that sketchy situation. on the nail yeah oh my god that went right up your ass look how big it is oh <laughs> <laughs> what the hell can you check it all right i just want to see the house behind us a little bit okay so i know that obviously when you're renovating a house it always has to get worse before it gets better we're shocked at the state of the site behind us right now. It is crazy. It's hard to fathom, like, even though we knew this was gonna happen, when you're actually living in this site, mm. what a mess. Nah, I'm enjoying it. Especially getting the nails up my bum. Love that part. All right, let's lug some bricks. As physically knackering as lugging bricks might look, we consider ourselves extremely lucky to be able to work alongside each other every day. It keeps our spirits high as we're always talking about things that we love, mostly cooking up our next traveling adventure. You guys know Nick and I well enough. You know that when we're having a super hard and tiring time like this in the middle of a build, all we look forward to is a sunny holiday and a well-earned rest, really. So when looking for holidays online, how do we get them cheap? Well, we're gonna share with you one of our biggest secrets in getting these cheap ass holidays. We use NordVPN to change our network location of wherever we're planning to fly to so that we can bag ourselves some seriously cheap flights. So for example, Nikki has been trying to convince me to take an impromptu holiday to Australia but with a return flight costing me 902 pounds it's not really in our budget at the moment so I booted up my NordVPN app and moved myself virtually all the way to Australia to check for cheaper flights and I found the exact same 902 pound flight for just 686 pounds and so that saved us 216 pounds wow not only this but NordVPN also protects you on up to six devices from intrusive tracking and hackers. 
so you're always feeling safe when you're online. So if you want to save yourself some money on flights or just want some extra protection online, then go to www.nordvpn.com forward slash Nikki and Harry. And this will get you an exclusive deal with four months for free on a two year plan. It's also risk free with NordVPN's 30 day money back guarantee. But anyway, we are so proud to be collaborating with NordVPN. But let's get back to the video. So it is fair to say bricklaying is something Nikki and I have never turned our hands to before, but it's something we were kind of keen to give a go. Especially as we mentioned earlier, we are already 20% of the way through our £30,000 budget. So this is an area we thought it would be a really good place to try and save some money, especially with a bricklayer coming in at around £150 a day. So we thought we'd give it a go. And with that, I introduce to you, Nikki the Bricky. I could eat that. That is some yummy mac. It's like Biscoff. And look at that. Sticky. <laughs> That's not the creamiest muck you've ever seen. I don't know what it is. Right, we need a 15 and a half to start. Let's go. Lunch. We've got ham sandwiches with sweet chili. Sweet chili jam. We can't stop raving about a sweet chili jam. And grog grog. And the sun is just making DIY so much easier. We're very happy bunnies today. We always use this time at lunch to have business meetings and talk about some very serious topics. Mm. You know, that bread stuck on the roof of your mouth. It's such a weird I never get it on my mouth, I get it on my teeth. You know what I'm on about though, when um, you get like the whole thing mm -hmm. stuck on the roof of your mouth. It's, it's like weird suctioned feeling. up there. Yeah. Mm. Need a chisel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's fair to say, like everyone, we have our ups and downs, but today we're on a high day, aren't we? Mm, very good. Feeling good about life today. As enjoyable as lunch was, these bricks will not wait for anybody. We haven't shown you this yet and don't plan on boring you to death but the harsh reality of working with masonry is the prep work. We've spent hours upon hours chiseling these bloody bricks. And again, this is purely to keep within our budget. To give you some perspective, each brick is worth £2.18. So in doing all this brain numbing groundwork, we save ourselves some crazy money. Now I've just got to call the boss in to see if it gets your approval. Next. What do you think, boss? Yeah, I think it's good. Yeah? Does it stick? It sticks. Yeah, it sticks. Top tip to get that creamy mix, add a bit of fairy liquid. Thanks for that one, Johnny. So when we're on a roll with DIY, it is surprisingly hard to slow ourselves down and to remind ourselves why we're even doing this in the first place. Taking a day in between all of this hard work is so good for us because we're able to really reflect on what we've done and it also stops us from serious burnout. We really have moved to a beautiful part of the world and the bougie coffee shops are definitely a bonus. Another day, another day bricklaying. Yesterday you'd have seen us do this brick wall. Now we gotta do the inner skin, which is actually out of breeze blocks. So it should be a bit easier, a lot less Mac. So welcome to the brick cutting cave. Let's cut some bricks. <laughs> Thank you. 
So this happy dance can only really mean one thing. It's nearly time to fit the French doors that Nikki got for an absolute bargain off the Facebook marketplace last month. Saving us over two grand from our original quote, we nabbed these for just £160. Whilst unfortunately getting these secondhand doors has meant a lot more preparation in building the wall to the correct size to fit the door, again the budget is so important to us that when trade-offs like these happen between money and time, money will nearly always win. A quick break to look at what's to come for the house is always a serious motivator for us. And judging by the comments, it gives you guys a better idea of what the market value is going to be once the renovations are done. Yeah, so don't forget to put them comments down below on what you think the final market value will be of this house to win yourself £250. Wow. Wow. <laughs> but quickly, let's just refresh your brain on what this house is hopefully going to look like. Today, having rushed some things yesterday, we're paying the price. When spray foaming the gap between the French doors and the bricks, we lazily didn't masking tape around the brickwork, and boy, does that insulation foam stick. So we spent the best part of our morning sanding this down, and in doing this, we completely scuffed up the French doors. So it's safe to say they'll need a repaint. But the silver lining in this is that we can change the color of the French doors. So what do you guys think? Should we stick with the dark gray vibe? Or should we lighten things up a bit with a blue or a green? Help us out by commenting down below. Now, if there are three inevitable things to happen in a day, the sun coming up, birds are chirping, me making muck. We love brickwork. Nikki's currently being the mortar legend and making a nice bed of muck for our lintel to sit on. Let me get this up here. I can't see much right now. Okay. Mine's 16 now. Perfect. Next step, damp proof course. crazy amount of work we've been able to do in the last two weeks and the cherry on top of this was that our building inspector Tony came over this morning and gave us the all clear for all the work we've done so far. Not only did he give us the all clear but to be honest he said it was really good work. Yeah so we're really happy with ourselves and it's given us the confidence to carry on with the bathroom which will be next. So we're really excited to start our bathroom to be honest because we are so done with the brickwork and we just kind of want to get back to that woodwork carpentry stuff that we've kind of had a lot of practice in now. So I guess that's it for this video. If you guys would have seen we've been using Ryobi's products because they gifted us a load of their tools which we are so grateful for. With this in mind there is a code in the description to get £25 off on your next shop at Ryobi so make sure you have a little look down there. Yeah, that's all for this week, so we will see you in the next episode. Bye!